could not be more proud of our kids' response um, from, from the Wednesday night game. I thought that they came in focused. Um, obviously, on Thursday, we had a, a marathon film session, and our kids really, really responded, and I'm just super proud of them because um, we know what they're capable of, and I thought they had so much fun playing tonight and competing, and that's what the game is supposed to be about. Um, and I had fun coaching them um, because we got to coach basketball, and and they just um, they just gave us everything that they had. Um, obviously, I have the utmost respect for Brandon. He and I go way back. I've known him since um, you know I was a, a kid, and, um, and and I know that that's a really good team that we just beat. Um, you know, they won the WNIT last year. I think Jackson will play in the WNBA. Um, they're, it's a really good team, and so I'm super proud of our kids for stepping up to the challenge and, and getting it done. Jazz, obviously a, a rough night for a lot of y'all on offense on Wednesday. Just after a game like that, personally, how do you sort of uh, just react or try to, you know, bounce back? Um, I think Coach said it best. Uh, after the Texas game on Thursday, we just had a long film session. And I think collectively we responded well. And with that, you know, our defense really created our offense. So I was able to get open looks, but none of that would have happened without us, like, racking up our defense, playing together, and just taking, you know, great shots and just playing within Lady Raider basketball. But like I said, 1 through 15, we all responded, and we came out with the win. Ashley, uh, she touched on it a little bit, but just the, the defense tonight, how big was that for y'all? Um, defense is something that we preach every day. It's something that we want to be a staple in our program, and we want that to be a part of our identity. Um, that's something that is a big part of who I am as a player, so I take a lot of pride in leading that um, and being the energy and you know just getting everybody to collectively play great team defense. And Ashley or Jazz, how does it feel to – come back from the Wednesday night game and then defeat Kansas and both of y'all have stepped up both of y'all dominated today how does it feel knowing that this is how y'all responded moving forward if y'all face adversity no if but when y'all face adversity again that y'all are able to come back uh it feels amazing like competing and winning is very fun and when you're able to respond and respond in an amazing way uh when you're just feeding off of each other energy, I mean, you can't ask for nothing more. And especially for Lady Raider Nation to just, you know, continue to come back, continue to come back, continue to come back and watch us. That's what make us do and come out and respond the way that we did tonight. And like you said, when adversity hits, you know, this team can't respond and we did tonight. So it was very fun. Yeah, I think it's important to feel what success feels like in the Big 12 and know what it takes and what we have to do to get a win like that. Um, but it's also something that, you know, we're going to take, we're going to enjoy today. Uh, and then on Monday we got to come in and work because we can't let this be the only time that we feel this type of success. As you kind of mentioned the crowd, just talk on how, you, I mean, they exploded. They were there right there with y'all. Talk on how the crowd impacted the team. Oh, <clears throat> definitely. The crowd, I don't know how to explain it. The crowd impacts the game so much, especially when we, you know, say we get a stop, we come down and score, you have everybody saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. That just makes your energy rise. And you never want to disappoint people that have paid to come and watch you play. Mm -hmm. And so just giving them the joy and giving them the same energy that they're giving back is just, it fills, it fills the gym. Well, Coach, you kind of joked when you got in here about the, the practice yesterday, but was there a, a grand speech or a message or uh, one specific thing that, you know, between the Texas game and now that you really lit into them or anything uh, like that? We definitely lit into them. <laughs> That's your question, yeah. Um, but you know what? I mean, th this team, that's what I love about this team is we really get to coach basketball. and. I think on Wednesday night, um, the moment just just a little too big for them at that time. Um, in every timeout we took, it was just some some stares and some faces that I hadn't seen before, and and I need to take responsibility for that for not for not preparing them for that moment more. Um, I think they felt a lot of pressure um, just from it being the last time we would play them in in Lubbock. Um, 
but at the same time, you know, I think they learned some valuable lessons with that. And that's what we did on, on Thursday. I mean, we literally had a very long film session and just tried to correct some things because everything, I know the score didn't seem like it, um, but there was lots of things that we were very much in control of. And I'm not taking anything away from Texas because they're clearly a very good basketball team, but, but there were a lot of mistakes that we made that were, we were in complete control of. I think tonight, um, you saw that our kids were so much more focused and fought through it. And I thought their response to mistakes was really good. Um, and that's what we need is sometimes we have our response to mistakes creates another mistake because we hang our head or we, we are thinking about it or we stop because we don't know what's next. And these kids are learning through playing experience that um, it's not always going to be perfect. And in the Big 12, it's actually harder and harder and harder. So, you know, I think we got a really easy look. Um, against Kansas, not easy, but we, we ISO'd them on the post at one point and um, they immediately had an adjustment. So when we went to it the next time, it kind of startled our kids because it wasn't there. So we were able to make some adjustments and our kids were able to follow through on that. And that's what they're learning every single day. And so yeah, the message was that our performance on Wednesday was unacceptable and not because we lost, but because of our effort. Um, our effort has to always be perfect. And I thought tonight our effort was perfect. And did it mean a little extra coming against Kansas? You mentioned, you know, just how good they are, but also just a team that has had y'all's number the past couple seasons. You know, every win that, that we get in the Big 12 is going to be special. Um, and it's going to, all of them are going to mean a little bit more. Um, you know, it doesn't matter who you're playing. And the, and the more that our conference grows, the bigger it's going to get. I mean, day in and day out, wins are hard to get in the Big 12. So every one that we get, we will cherish for sure. And it will be very special. I know she got 12 rebounds, but Tiana Jackson, four points. Uh, what do you, th I guess, what do you think about that inside defense? Do you think you guys did really well to kind of neutralize her scoring? I thought that, um, that, I thought a couple of kids really understood how we wanted to defend her, and they just worked. They really worked, and they were super tough, which was something we were missing Wednesday night. Um, I thought Elena was fantastic um, at guarding her. I mean, she's probably, what, six, seven inches shorter than her, but she battled so hard and never let Jackson have um, space to turn and to, to catch and turn and score. I thought our help side defense was really good. Um, and then I thought, you know, a couple of times we had Jada on her, um, which is who's a guard. And I thought Jada really used her physicality and tried to just battle. And that's what it's about when you're guarding um, someone bigger than you, maybe a little more talented than you or whatever. Like you've got to understand that the, the, the strategy that we want to use. And then it's just a, a, a war of wills. And I thought that Alina's will was greater tonight in this in this instance. Kind of how big was that, especially with Kyle again and some early foul trouble? Yeah, it was huge, right? I mean, that's why we, we've got to have some depth on our bench, and, and I thought that she did a great job. And um, and there was, you know, I think there was twice that I, I needed to take Alina out, and once time that she told me because she just was working so hard, she needed a little breather. And when she came out, she said, she goes, I just need two minutes, Coach. And I looked at the clock, and there was four minutes left. And I go, well, you got about 30 seconds because <laughs> we need you back in there. But, uh, yeah, I just think that it's huge for – um, us to have multiple people that can get things done. And then with Ashley, kind of the toughness on defense, I think she drew multiple charges. Just what does that say really about this team, I guess? Yeah, well, that's that's what we want to be known for. You know, I think that that's the difference in, in the past couple of years here is that we've been trying to get the right kids to fit our philosophy of defense. And, and that's nothing at the kids that we had previously. It was just, um, you know, we were able to recruit to the way we want to play. And, and we're not done with that, right? We want to continue to recruit the way we want to play. And uh, I think Ashley, um, that's one of the reasons that we signed her was for her defense and her ability to get downhill and her toughness. Um, you know, I actually talked about, um, you know, I, I'm not sure that there was enough kids on our team that understood the rivalry against Texas um, and just the the amount of fight that you have to have that Ashley absolutely does, because obviously she came from there. Um, I thought tonight our kids understood the rivalry of every team that we're going to play in the Big 12, and um, and they fought with with that type of urgency, and, and that's what we got to have. Coach, can you talk about um, the impact Miss Art had on Texas Tech and the Lady Raiders, and what y'all did to honor her today? Yes, ma'am. Um, you know, I'm so um, she's just such such a special woman. Um, that's been in my life for over, 
gosh, you know, 35 years. Um, and I loved the fact that so many high riders show, showed up, so many um, former players, so many people in the stands, um, even commenting on Twitter about about her impact and, and how she – has just um, influenced others um, while she was here on this earth, and you know I loved these I love these buttons that we wore because this, this was just such a sweet sweet picture with her with with the Texas Tech logo on her chest because she was such a proud Red Raider, and um, you know I uh, there's no doubt that she was with us today. Um, as sweet as she was, she liked to win, and and she would absolutely um, love you if you didn't, but um, but she would get. She would definitely have some grit about her and, and be super proud of these kids for this win. So I'm super glad that we could honor her, not only today and, and with, with our stories and memories, but with that win also. Thank you guys. Appreciate y'all.